good morning all of you in today's session we are going to discuss about applications of uv visible spectroscopy uh, already we are going with the continuation of this uv visible spectroscopy uh, we completed what is the main principle involved in this uv visible spectroscopy how many kind of transitions are possible called electronic transitions in uv visible spectroscopy and what are the possible selection rules for uv visible spectroscopy and uh, how it can be instrumented. Instrumentation of UV visible spectroscopy was completed. In today's session, we are going to continue with what are the possible applications of UV visible spectroscopy. So UV visible spectroscopy, alternatively known as electronic spectroscopy, which is associated with electronic transitions from ground state to excited state. By using this spectroscopy, it is possible to identify presence of impurities in the given compound. So whether the compound is pure in state or any contamination is present in that can be easily identified by using UV visible spectroscopy. So if peaks of intense and whatever required region are obtained, you can say the given compound is highly pure in nature. If any noisy signals are uh, other than required additional signals recognized in the given compound, that implies the compound is not in the pure form and some kind of contamination is present in that. So in that way, we can identify purity of the compound based on peaks in the given region. And next is about structure elucidation. Structure elucidation stands for if you are going to identify the what is the sequential order. So if uh, structure of the compound is predicted in the sequential order that is called the structural elucidation. So it is possible to identify the presence of unsaturation. This is the most important application of UV visible spectroscopy. Whether the given compound is only sigma bonded one or any pi bonds are present in the compound, if present, how many pi bonds are there? And these pi bonds are present in the conjugation or whether all pi bonds are uh, endocyclic or exocyclic. That kind of valuable information is given by this UV visible spectroscopy. The most important prominent application of UV visible is determination of unsaturation present in the compound. And if unsaturation is there, whether it is in conjugation or not, alternate arrangement is there in this way or not can be easily predicted by using UV visible spectroscopy. By using their lambda max values, it is possible to identify extent of conjugation in the given compound. And next is about aromatic compounds, whether the given compound is aromatic or not. If it is aromatic, how many cyclic rings are present in the co given compound? what kind of aromaticity is there, whether it is pi excessive or pi deficient, uh, is there any extension of conjugation within the molecule, all can be identified by using this uh, electronic spectroscopy. And also, what kind of heteroatoms are present in this heterocyclic ring? Sometimes heterocyclic rings are, uh, uh, sorry, aromatic rings are made up of only purely carbon. Benzene related uh, heterocyclic, uh, what uh, aromatic compounds will be there. Along with that, you can also find this heteroatoms in the, within the molecule means other than carbon like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, they are also able to form uh, aromatic compounds. In that case, you can identify conveniently what kind of atom is present in the given compound by using UV visible spectroscopy. And next is about quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis stands for if you are going to find out measure the concentration of solution. Otherwise, quantity of the substance in terms of either grams or milligrams, volume in the form of liters, milliliters that comes under qualitative analysis. In order to go with uh, quantitative analysis of organic compounds by using UV visible spectroscopy, it is possible by Lambert-Beach lab. It states that absorption 
absorbance is equal to log I naught by I. I naught stands for incident radiation intensity. Whatever light we are passing initially, that is I naught. I T is nothing but intensity of light after passing through the sample. Some extent of light will be absorbed by the sample. So after passing through the sample, whatever light emitted can considered as I T. So it is the ratio of log I naught by I T, which is called absorbance. By using this, it is possible to identify concentration and also thickness of the medium. Next is about qualitative analysis. Irrespective of their weight and volume, if possible to identify or analyze the given compound, comes under qualitative analysis. So just now we discussed by using UV visible conjugation, aromaticity and extent of conjugation heteroatoms can be identified. All these are the part of qualitative analysis. We are measuring the quality irrespective of their weight and volume. So which is the part of qualitative analysis. And next is about chemical kinetics. So chemical kinetics stands for rate of the reaction. So if any new reaction we are performing in that case, how extent the starting materials converted into product with the time, what is the progress of the reaction with time can be analyzed by UV visible spectroscopy. Then whether reaction is visible or not, whether reaction completed within the time, whether reaction is progressive along with time can be analyzed by UV visible spectroscopy. And next is about Analysis of pharmaceutical substances. Pharmaceutical substances stands for any medicinal compound uh, synthesized in the laboratory and which is used for the treatment of specific kind of diseases. So in that case, every day there is a rapid growth in the research in order to identify new drug compounds. So whenever any new medicinal compound is synthesized, it is very essential to uh, elucidate its entire structure, which is conveniently carried by UV visible spectroscopy. So by dissolving the solvent and subjected to wavelength of specific nature, we can analyze, we can identify what kind of structure is there for given drug compound. So, for example, diazepam is the medicinal compound which dissolved in sulfuric acid can be identified, can be read in uh, UV visible spectroscopy at uh, 284 nanometers wavelength. So in this way, any compound, any medicinal compound can be conveniently identified, confirmed, analyzed, and if any structure modification is done, Everything can be studied by using this analysis method. And next is about determination of polynuclear aromatic compounds. So if any compound having more than one benzene ring, which is termed as polynuclear. If you take naphthalene, it is a bicyclic. Anthracene, tricyclic. Phenanthrin is also tricyclic. In that way, any compound having more than one benzene ring comes under polynuclear. So if that kind of complexity is there in the compound, so that can be conveniently identified by using UV visible spectroscopy. And even, so any molecule of large in size, it is difficult to identify its molecular weight. In that case, UV visible spectroscopy conveniently calculate its molecular weight of heavy complex molecules. And next is about geometry of metal complexes. Metal complexes, uh, 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 geometry mainly depends upon its hybridization. So it ranges from sp hybridization linear, sp2 planar, sp3 tetrahedral, dsp2 square planar, sp3d trigonal bipyramidal, sp3d2 square, uh, what? octahedral in nature and so on. So many kind of geometries are offered for metal complexes. By using UV visible spectroscopy, we can identify what is the suitable chemical structure and geometry of given complex. Metal and ligand bound by coordinate covalent bonds in a 
particular geometry that is identified by using this UV visible spectroscopy. So this is about extensive applications of UV visible spectroscopy. So impurity profiling is possible. Identification of new compound structure is possible. Quantitative analysis in terms of concentration, we can identify by using this. Qualitative analysis like conjugation, aromaticity, presence of heteroatoms can be determined by UV visible spectroscopy. Rate of the reaction can be conveniently monitored with this. Uh, medicinal compound diagnosis, confirmation, structure identification possible by UV visible spectroscopy. Polynuclear aromatic compounds are identified by UV visible spectroscopy and uh, geometry and uh, structure of com metal complexes can be conveniently analyzed. By this, we are going to close uh, this discussion session.